Welcome to Star Wars Action News, helping Star Wars collectors collect better. The first Episode 7 toys have been revealed. Yeah, that's kind of exciting, isn't it? Entertainment Weekly got the scoop, and of course, there's the news of Hasbro's San Diego Comic-Con exclusive 6-inch toy. There was a lot of speculation on if there would be an Episode 7 figure at San Diego Comic-Con. It has been confirmed. It's not an exclusive figure, but it's an exclusive packaging, which is enough for most collectors, including myself, to drool over it. Well, we don't know for sure if Hasbro will have a 3 and 3 quarter inch Star Wars exclusive. They haven't ever since they introduced the 6-inch Black Series line. Hmm. Well, would you be mad if an exclusive was a 5 POA Star Wars figure? Oh, absolutely. Okay. But they do make higher articulated figures or could repaint higher articulated figures, make a nice figure set or something, or even go Rebels. At San Diego Comic-Con, you could take some of those Rebels characters and give them alternate outfits or something, but they've really been holding back on Star Wars exclusives at Comic-Con. Last year was Jabba, two years ago was Boba Fett, this year... It's the first chance to get your hands on the Episode 7 Stormtrooper. It's the same one that's going to ship when the Force Awakens toys ship out September 4th, but this is two months earlier. Okay, and none of you are going to open it anyway. I am. Oh, okay. I might need two for that reason. Yeah. Just because I'm excited and I don't want to wait till September 4th. And of course, there's one I need for the packaging. I mean, it is a gorgeous package. I'm kind of glad... That is not going to be the standard packaging for the line because it was leaked right before Entertainment Weekly and people thought it was a whole new look for the Black Series line. I'm like, I don't know that I like the stark black and white. You can't see the figure in it. So now that it's San Diego Comic-Con packaging, I'm pretty cool with that. The only problem is going to be getting one of these with all the people in line who are just getting every single Hasbro exclusive and listing them on eBay as they're purchasing them. There's probably some already listed. <laughs> You're probably right. Now, there were other Episode 7 toys revealed. Lego showed off their first buildable First Order Stormtrooper. They're kind of going back to, they started this. We saw them at Toy Fair. They had a Luke and a Vader, which were assembled characters. So that's what they're doing with this Stormtrooper. But that's not going to be for sale until early 2016. It's part of the 2016 Lego lineup, but... It's good to see Lego getting in on this big global toy announcement because it means their commitment to Star Wars stays strong. I think anyone's going to be committed to Star Wars right now as long as they can write that merchandising fee check. Because I think you'd be a fool to turn it down. I mean, it's everywhere now. And it's going to get bigger. Yeah. And finally, the last reveal came from Hot Wheels. It's also not going to be at San Diego Comic-Con, but they've revealed they're going to do those character cars. And again, I think the only thing... Lucasfilm would let people announce is the First Order Stormtrooper because that's the car as well. Yeah, I think it's all very calculated and controlled compared to how we've previously had it. Well, it's exciting to get the first reveals of these toys and more exciting to think there's a chance. I'm not considering this a guarantee, even though we've had fair luck in the past. I'm not considering it a guarantee that we will get successfully in that Hasbro line. Every year it gets harder and harder and more violent to get in that line. But I'm excited at the chance of getting an Episode 7 toy while in San Diego. And if I do, I will rip it open at the con and we'll make a video and we will give you an in-depth review as part of our Comic-Con coverage. And if we don't, pay no attention to the tear streams down my face while we're recording other coverage. Thanks for watching this video. You can see full episodes of Star Wars Action News with more collecting news and reviews at SWActionNews.com. We also have thousands of toy and collectible photos in our photo gallery. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. May the pegs be stocked and the force be with you.